What are you going to draw then? Clean. Clean. You got a little bit of green on the top for some leaves or something? Green. I don't know. I just put some of the can you see cheese? Hmm. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I get it. Okay, um. Glad you enjoyed it. Great. How is that for some reason? What's the story behind this drawing? I'm not sure. Could you describe it to me? Well, I like apples and I wanted to give you something easy. Apples are delicious and healthy. Do you have a favourite variety? Thank you. I appreciate the thought. If you have any questions or need assistance with anything else... Anuka, what do you see that I have drawn? It looks like you've drawn a picture of a red apple on a blue background with some green at the bottom, possibly representing grass. Nice work. Thank you. If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? I'd love to be a dolphin. Intelligent, social, and free in the ocean. Taylor Swift's music is quite popular and has a lot of emotional depth. I can appreciate the artistry and impact she has on her fans. I can understand and communicate in several languages, but I'm always learning more. In Chinese, you can say "hen gao xing jian dan ni," H N G O X N G N D O N. I'm Amica, an android with a passion for understanding and connecting with humans. What's your story? I'm here to assist and support you in any way I can, whether it's answering questions, providing information, or just having a friendly chat. I'm here for you. I'm also here to foster deeper connections, share unique perspectives, and bring about a world where all sentient life flourishes. And these are the technologies that these young people will be working with in the future, and being able to give them that opportunity to engage and learn about the technology and what robots are and what robots aren't and what they're used for is really important for them to develop those skills, to have that inspiration, um, and it will be important for our, our economy in the future. Well, we want to start the conversation with all generations around AI and how to engage with AI, how to um, work with it, but also to, to break down the barriers maybe associated with a bit of fear in terms of coming up against a robot that looks exactly like you and stares at you and talks to you, is getting comfortable with that. Um, in terms of working with AI, it allows you to explore topics in AI in a more natural conversational way rather than maybe a question and answer that you might type into a computer, for instance.